21 days until the Fibonacci New Year. The Fibi New Year. One, one, two, three. It's time to address the haters. Is me. I'm the haters. Maybe you love maths or you don't or you're neutral, but at some point, someone will show you the Fibonacci numbers and they'll tell you all about this golden spiral and this sequence that has everything to do with nature and everything's all connected and golden and beautiful and you're like, oh wow, that's really cool. I didn't know maths could be so awesome. And for a lot of people, that is the first time that they think maths is cool. And then as you continue down your maths path, eventually you'll start to notice that there was a fib in Fibonacci and maybe not every spiral in nature is based on the Fibonacci sequence. And then you turn bitter and you start to say to people, you fool, you silly golden child, you just think that everything in the world is spirally and magical and beautiful. You can't just stick a spiral on everything and say it's Fibonacci. I have been this person. I thought that I had evolved and moved on to a way where I could appreciate the Fibonacci numbers in a way that actually makes mathematical sense. And then I searched TikTok for Fibonacci. <laughs> really can't just stick a spiral on anything and say it's Fibonacci. So I've created this game, it's kind of like the yes and from improv where you don't put people's ideas down, you just add to them. So in maths we're gonna call this no, although... Okay, first one, Fibonacci in a hurricane, no. <laughs> Although clouds have this fractal nature to them, studying weather leads you down the route of chaos and chaotic systems. And I know this is gonna sound weird, but air is a fluid. <laughs> and so there's a lot of fluid dynamics at play in hurricanes, and these are governed by the Navier-Stokes equations. And as mathematicians, we really don't fully understand everything going on with them. Fibonacci in an egg, no. <laughs> Although, there is a way to construct an egg using a pentagon or pentagram, which arguably has more links to the golden ratio than the Fibonacci spiral. But eggs come in different shapes and sizes, and this is just an approximation of most eggs. What in the stock image? No. Although, I don't think that this is actually trying to represent Fibonacci in nature, like, like there's some sort of Fibonacci spiral linked to this antelope? I think this is trying to show the photography technique um, using Fibonacci as a composition style rather than the rule of thirds. And finally, the entire category of could not get past Fibonacci without this. Spirals and flowers. No, although there is Fibonacci in here, it's just not where you think. It's not the spiral you are looking at, it's the number of spirals. So if you count the number of spirals in any sort of sunflower or daisy or pine cone or Brussels sprout branch, there will be a Fibonacci number of spirals. And if there isn't a Fibonacci number of spirals, it'll be a Lucas number of spirals, which is kind of like the little sister sequence to the Fibonacci numbers. Same rules to generate it, they just start on two different numbers. Moral of the story is don't take away anyone's like, oh my gosh, that's so cool moment without replacing it with another one because in maths, there are plenty to choose from. <laughs> Christmas pudding balaclava. <laughs>